Hello and welcome to this Technic Force tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss how to add adds to list and leads to list to Webinar Loop. If you're one of our longtime clients, you probably already have a copy of adds to list and leads to list. These are powerful list building tools made by Technic Force that have the ability to take any Google lead gen ad or any Facebook lead gen ad and send it to your autoresponder. And not just that, they can send it to Webinar Loop as well. Either method is an excellent way of building an audience for your webinar. Simply create lead gen ads on Google or Facebook, and ads to list and leads to list will automatically populate webinar loops with your attendees. To set that up in webinar loop, first go to your webinar setup. And if you scroll right to the bottom, you'll see an integration tab. Click on this. And here we see the leads to list and ads to list integration section. This code allows ads to list or leads to list to auto register your attendees for your webinar. So just click this button here to automatically copy the code to your clipboard. And now we can head to ads to list and we'll go to the lead forms tab in the sidebar. And here we'll create a lead form and we'll call this one webinar and then click add lead form. Then we'll go to the auto responders tab in the sidebar and we'll enter a new form code. So here we'll give this form code a name, we'll call it webinar. And here in the text box, we're going to paste the opt-in form code that we copied from webinar loop. So just paste that code right here, and then you can parse the code. And here, this shows the opt-in form. So for name, we have to assign the value, we'll call this name. For email, the value is already assigned email, we'll call that email. And for phone, we'll call that value custom fields. And once all your values are set, then you can submit and you'll see the success verification code. Now we can go to create a new campaign in the sidebar. We'll call this campaign webinar loop and we'll select a lead form. We'll select the webinar form that we just created. Next, we'll select an autoresponder. And in this case, we're going to choose custom integration. And then to select a list, we'll select webinar custom integration. And then we can click add campaign. Now, when we go to the Campaigns tab, we'll see the new Webinar Loop campaign assigned to Connected List Webinar Custom Integration with zero leads count so far. So under the Actions column, let's click on this icon for Copy Codes for Google Ads. This will give us the code for Google Ads Webhook. We can copy and paste this code into the Google Ads Lead Extension setup. To do so, simply click on the button to copy the code to your clipboard. Then we can head to Google Ads and sign in. Once we reach Google Ads, we can create a new campaign. For goal, we want to select leads to get leads and other conversions to sign up for our webinar. Next, we want to select a campaign type. So we'll select search that allows us to reach customers interested in our product or service with text ads. And finally, we have to select the way we want to reach our goal. And we'll choose lead form submissions and then we can select Continue. Under the General Settings, we'll give our campaign a name. We'll call this one Webinar Loop Adds to List. Then you can set your targeting and audiences to your own preference, as well as language, and select the audiences that you want to add to your campaign. Next, you can set your budget for the average you want to spend each day, and we recommend at least $10 daily. You can leave the bidding set as conversions, as this will use the Maximize Conversions bid strategy to help you get the most conversions for your budget. Now we want to set up our ad extensions. So in the lead form extensions field, click on the button that says create lead form extension. First, we have to select a compelling call to action. So we will choose sign up. Then we need an extension text. So we'll call this webinar for sales. Then we can create the lead form. So for the headline, we'll call this webinar loop special offer and then we can add our business name and for description we'll put and we'll put a brief description here we'll call this grab webinar loop at a one-time price now we can specify the contact information that we want to collect so we'll select name and we'll set that as full name and phone number and email and you can also add your privacy policy URL 
And then we have to customize our submission message. So the default here is sent. And for description, we can put something like, thank you very much or thanks. And then for call to action, we can say visit website. And we can specify the call to action URL. Next, we have to choose a lead delivery option. And this is where we'll set up our webhook to manage our collected leads. So here in the field for webhook URL, we can paste the code from ads to list. So let's go back to ads to list. And under the Google Ads webhook, we'll copy that code, head back to Google Ads, and paste that in the webhook field. And then we need the key. So we'll go back to ads to list and copy the key and paste that into the webhook key field. And then we can press this button to send some test data. And this will send a test lead through our system to make sure it works. And once the test data is sent, we can go back to ads to list. We'll close this. And now we'll refresh our browser page. And now we'll see here under our webinar loop campaign that our leads count has increased from zero to one. So now if we head over to our lead form to show the leads, we'll see here is the test at example.com that Google sent. So let's head back to a webinar loop and we'll click on dashboard. And if we scroll down, we can see our list of registrants. And here is first name, last name sent the test at example from Google. So this is verification that our webhook is working properly. Now let's head back to the webinars tab and open our webinar setup and scroll back to the bottom for integration. And once again, let's copy this opt-in form code and let's see how this works with leads to list this time. So we'll go over to leads to list and we'll log in. And first we'll go to the autoresponders tab and then add a form code. And here we'll give our form code a name. We'll call it webinar loop. And then here we can paste the form code here that we copied from webinar loop and parse that. And that shows us the various collection fields. So we'll just verify the fields for this name, email, and custom fields and submit. And we get the success verification. Then we can head to the campaigns tab and add a campaign. So we'll call this campaign name webinar loop leads. And we'll select a page, internet marketing. That has to be preloaded in our Facebook pages. Then we'll select a lead form, we'll call it form IM. And then we'll select an autoresponder. This has to be custom integration. And the list, we're gonna choose webinar loop custom integration. And then we can add that campaign. And now we can go back to the campaigns tab and we can see here is our new addition, the webinar loop custom integration. And if we go to the pages tab, we can see here is the internet marketing page. And if we click add lead form, we can see that this is where we got the lead form from. And if you need further help with that, you can click on the help tab and here you can find information on how to add Facebook pages to leads to list and how to create lead forms in Facebook. And that's how easy it is to integrate ads to list and leads to list into webinar loop. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.